Hey, uh, DIYers out there. Uh, what we have here is a 2013 uh, Tesla Model S uh, rear wheel drive. And uh, we all of a sudden stop receiving heat coming into the interior cabin. So the um, uh, 12 volt battery and disconnect the, the power from the, the, the uh, car. So that's going to be housed under here. Uh, we're going to have to remove this to get the battery to, remove, to disconnect. Um, the DC to DC um, converter uh, is up under here under the wheel well. So we have to get into there. Um, and then also we'll need to, uh, the heater, we need to get to that. Um, it's going to be down in this compartment here on the passenger side. So we'll need to access all that. Um, so good idea to probably, since you're gonna be disconnecting the power, uh, um, pull back the seats. Uh, so you have plenty of room to get in there to access, as well as uh, rolling down the windows. Uh, so once you disconnect the power, you won't. Uh, uh, you may need to get into the vehicle, so you'll need to roll down the windows just so you um, don't lock yourself out. First steps are critically important for a project dealing with um, high voltage vehicle. Uh, you need to disconnect the power uh, and um, a couple things you need to do. There's two batteries, a high voltage battery powering the car and then the 12 volt battery um, powering some of the ancillary items. But uh, you need to go to safety and security, uh, power off and uh, hit the power off button um, that um, disables um, the, um, the high voltage battery. Okay, uh, removing the uh, the front uh, panels to access uh, the electronics. This is pretty easy. They they, uh, they they come up pretty easily here. There's there's a couple of these rubber uh, bumper stops here that um, you could probably just pull them right without doing much, but I, I tend to try to just unscrew them pretty easily here. You can kind of pop and pull lift it out here there's not a whole lot going into them there there you go pull that one out uh and the center ones you can pop it up and out here just lift it up there you go it comes right out you can just move it up out of the way okay so we're inside the uh the front and we've re removed the uh the two primary panels real easy to pop out uh, and uh, we have um, now uh, visibility and access to uh, some of the key components here that we want to uh, take a look at. Uh, this is a 2013, and uh, note in this configuration, note that the, the layout is a little bit different than maybe uh, your model uh, year or a configuration because uh, uh, in some areas, the, the battery is, is up in this area, uh, and the, the paneling looks a little bit different. Uh, you don't quite have the space down below, um, but uh, in this... Uh, uh, model year for 2013 uh, it is and it's a rear wheel drive this uh, this particular year that the battery is down below the air filter there um, okay once you remove the paneling the changing the air filter is super easy um, and or removing it at that um, it, it's just really these two um, little clips here if I can do it one-handed uh, uh, I can pull it out there you go I'll just pop that out pull the air filter out like that uh, and um, you can um, just buy a, a new one and replace it and just follow the the markings for the airflow and that's as simple as that pop it back in you're good so um, uh, don't be convinced uh, that someone that you need to pay someone to do that quite uh, quite simple clips here um, got one uh, clip here uh, which we can hopefully pop out here um, here we go um, pop the center out and pop that out set that aside or set that aside here so we don't lose it and the other one is just right uh, underneath here uh, that's that's all that is let's pull this out and this here just lift it up and out and just kind of right there use this use the uh, the front strut there to kind of hold it up so now you have access to the housing unit for the filter and um, you can proceed to remove it um, there's 10 mil two 10 millimeter bolts Okay, one, and let me jump in here and get the other one. There we go. And then there you go. And then the housing unit comes right out just like that. And then I'll to pick up that bolt. Okay, this is critically important as a follow on to uh, earlier where we shut down the car, we went into the uh, instrument panel and we went to safe, safety and security and powered off the system. Uh, now the, the fireman's loop is right here. We have to uh, fully physically disconnect it here. Um, 
and for safety reasons, that's why they have fireman's loops, so they can come in and uh, cut it in the event of emergency. Uh, but here you just enter it, put a little screwdriver in this little red tab, and you lift it up and out, and um, you can hear the car trying to disengage, but you pull it, and look, now the negative uh, um, cable that uh, ties to the, the vehicle here, and it goes up and over this little uh, bolt here that was secured by that uh, 13 uh, millimeter uh, nut there. Um, it is, I, I would note that it was a little tricky to get out because you had to kind of had to lift it um, up and over and there wasn't a lot of play there to kind of get uh, get it up and over there so you may have to finagle it a little bit the alternative is uh, you can also uh, uh, just use a 10 millimeter and undo this here and pull the whole housing unit over to the side uh, get that out of the way you'll definitely want to do that when you go to change um, um, uh, the battery um, they're known to only have a maybe a uh, two three year life cycle on them uh, so uh, in those instances there definitely take uh, off the whole housing unit move to set aside in this case here um, I felt it easier just to try to uh, uh, re remove this here and then also uh, for safety it, you just keep it from um, you know inadvertently touching and connecting and sparking I uh, use electrical tape to kind of uh, wrap off the, um, the, the negative uh, uh, cable and down there you can see in the left hand side is the DC to DC converter Okay, so you need to um, access the wheel well. Uh, to do that, you're gonna have to uh, remove um, the, the the wheel. Okay, it looks like um, there's probably about these uh, four or five of these clips holding in this prime this cover here. Uh, one, two, three, four, up one up top there. Five looks like a little uh, nut uh, that needs to come off that little bolt there, um, and that this whole thing should pop right out. <laughs> There we go. Same thing here. Pull, pull out the center. Once you pull out the center, then it releases it and allows it to pull out. And then you just do the same for these other. Okay, so now for this nut here, you'll want to get in there with a uh, 10 millimeter deep socket to better kind of pull that out. Uh, but that should come right out. It's the there, and it's kind of a felt like material of, uh, and you kind of pull it out. And I think we're just gonna be able to just lift it out, pull it out from the edge here, and we can kind of pull it back. And it looks like we should have enough room to access the DC to DC um, uh, con 